CX in pressure cooker, can be used with all types of cooking sources such as electric, induction, halogen, ceramic, and gas. shortens the cooking time through the use of steam and high pressure theory and technology. This steam and high pressure will preserve the nutrients and give you tender succulent meat. The pressure cooker only has to be placed on the burner for a short period of time and you do not need many pots to cook your meal, making the DXN pressure cooker an easy fast convenient way to prepare your meals. You can cook a wide variety of delicious meals for the enjoyment of your family and friends, like soups, seafood, rice, and desserts. Braised chicken and meat, and steam buns, dumplings and desserts. Place the pressure cooker on the stove. Then, place this steam rack stand in the pressure cooker and pour in the water. The amount of food to be cooked, which is the quantity of ingredients plus the water, must be within the maximum and minimum level, which means it cannot exceed the maximum level or be less than the minimum level. Once the water has been poured in, put the dumplings in the steam rack and place it on the steam rack stand. For steaming, you can either use the glass lid or the pressure cooker lid. If you are using the pressure cooker lid, remove this pressure control valve. For this recipe, we are using the glass lid, switch on the stove, and let it steam for 8 to 10 minutes. To maintain the pressure cooker in good condition, especially its surface, please make sure the flames are lower than the base. Big flames that extend over the body of the cooker is not recommended. Once the chicken dumplings are ready, you can enjoy the dumplings with some ketchup or sauce. Pour water into a bowl, then add in some turmeric powder and the glutinous rice. Soak the rice in the turmeric water for 5 to 6 hours. You will then get yellow glutinous rice. Next, pour water into the pressure cooker. Place an aluminum foil in the steam rack before adding in the turmeric glutinous rice. Then, place the steam rack in the cooker. Wash a few pendant leaves, then place it on top of the rice. Pour in some coconut milk. Then season the rice with salt and pepper, according to your taste and preference. Once done, Close the lid clockwise like this, until you hear this click sound. Next, turn the valve indicator to position 2, then switch on the stove. Position 2, which is high pressure, is normally for solid food like chicken, meat, grains, and beans. Position 1 is low pressure and suitable for food that is not too solid like seafood. The valve is removed if you are steaming food. After switching on the stove at high heat, it will take about 8 to 10 minutes for the red indicator light to rise. Once the red indicator light rises and steam is released from the valve, the cooking process begins. You can then reduce the heat and let the food cook. The cooking duration depends on the food and quantity. Here is the duration for a wide range of food items. The cooking time is counted from the time the red indicator light rises. For rice, it will take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the quantity, so after the appropriate amount of time, you can switch off the stove and remove the pressure cooker from the stove. To be safe, please carry the pressure cooker with two hands. Once you have removed the pressure cooker from the stove, do not open the lid immediately, but wait for the red indicator light to fully drop down before opening the lid. 
There are three ways for the red indicator to drop down. One is to let the pressure cooker cool down in the red indicator to drop down naturally, which will take about half an hour. If you want the pressure cooker to cool down faster, you can put the pressure cooker under running water and wait for the red indicator light to drop down. The third way is to press this button and release the pressure. It is better to let the pressure cooker to cool down naturally so that the food's quality and taste are preserved. Once the red indicator light has dropped down, open the lid by pressing this release button and turning the handle anti-clockwise. As you can see, the cooking time has been greatly reduced. Under normal cooking methods, it would have taken more than two hours to cook this glutinous rice, but with the DXN pressure cooker, it only took about 30 minutes. This Tamara glutinous rice can be enjoyed with some braised chicken or chicken curry. These are the ingredients for this recipe. Add in the ingredients into the pressure cooker, the lotus root, peanuts, red dates, linksy mushroom chips, chicken and the goji berries. Then add water. Fix the pressure cooker lid and turn the valve to position 2. The soup will take about 8 to 10 minutes to cook. Once done, season the soup with salt and pepper, according to taste. This soup can be eaten as a meal by itself, or with rice and vegetables. These are the ingredients for this recipe. Firstly, season the chicken with vinegar, oil, salt and pepper, and leave it to marinate for 15 minutes. Then let the chicken cook in the oven, at 350 degrees Celsius, for about 15 minutes until golden brown. Once ready, transfer the chicken to the pressure cooker. Then, add in the carrots, leeks and garlic. Next. Pour in the seasoning sauce, which has been made with vinegar, sugar, all-purpose flour, and oil. Turn to position 2, and let it cook for 8 to 10 minutes. Once ready, you can season the chicken with some parsley and chives. The chicken can be enjoyed with rice or pasta. These are the ingredients for this recipe. The mung beans have to be pre-soaked in water for 3 hours, or overnight, before being cooked in the pressure cooker. Wash the pandan leaves and put them in the pressure cooker. Next, add the sweet potatoes and rock sugar. Then add water. Close the lid, turn the valve to position 2, and let it cook for about 5 minutes. Once the soup is cooked, add in the coconut milk and salt, then stir the soup. The mung bean soup is a delicious dessert that can be enjoyed steaming hot or put it for a short while in the fridge and enjoy it cold. Please do visit the DXN2 website for these recipes and more. The smart simple way to get a variety of healthy meals on your table while ensuring the food retains its nutrients and flavor.